Hey, welcome into the 5 to 9 Hustle. Today I've got some data for you. I was real curious uh, if shooting on a mannequin helps sales or not. And I was thinking about this because I was doing suits and I had my mannequin out and I went ahead and did this sweater vest on it too. This is my mannequin. I used to shoot all of my shirts on a mannequin, but then when I started to get it more heavily in the pants, I got tired of... Um, changing up the photo setup every time I wanted to list stuff and I just went to all flat lay so I could have one consistent photo setup. Lately I've gotten into suits so I got the mannequin back out and was like hey does it really make a difference? Um, and so what I looked at first was shirts like casual shirts. I did a search for Polo Ralph Lauren button down shirt and I did a bunch of filters um, to try to get it down to a manageable number for me. So I actually went through and tallied all the different photo types that you have. You know, you've got your basic flat lay. You've got hanging on a door or a wall or sometimes a shower curtain even. Um, you've got the mannequin. And then there was a category called other, which was usually some type of close up like this of the pony and rider, or just of the pattern, or the label, uh, a couple other random things like um, an actual person wearing the item. And so I went through and tallied all those up. I skipped promoted listings. I did not um, count those. And this is this is what we had uh, for this search, you know, which again, I filtered down so it wasn't thousands of listings and I could actually go through and count it somewhat quickly. There were 365 total active listings and 142 sold. So like our baseline sell-through rate was 38.9%. And then I went through for the different photo types and calculated what was the sell-through for those. And for the mannequin, it really didn't make a difference. It performed pretty much just as well as the, the total sell-through rate for, for that search. Uh, what was interesting is flat lay outperformed everything else, um, did better than hanger. Hanger about five points down from the from the total sell through rate. You know, I don't know if that's a big enough difference to to be a big deal. And then all the other weird shots really don't seem to work very well. Um, so if you don't have a mannequin and you're selling shirts, go ahead and flat lay. Uh, seems to work just fine. But where I was really interested was uh, suits. Because um, since I got into those, I do have to switch up my photo station. It takes time, and you wind up letting suits pile up because you don't want to change up your photo station. So in suits, we actually had one additional category. You got your flat lays, hanging, mannequin, and then there were enough images like this that I'm taking to be a stock photo. I don't know. The guy could be modeling them himself and it's a really nice photo. I just called that stock. And then other, uh, which again was some type of close up. Uh, quite popular one is like this with the sleeve and showing a close up of the pattern. And our search was Joseph A. Banks suit. I filtered down uh, a few different ways to get to get under 500 listings. So we're buy it now, pre-owned. I filtered for the fabric wool, regular length jackets, and there's a item specific in suits called number of pieces. I filtered for two piece because I really wanted to look at actual suits, not suit jackets and sport coats. So you can see the the total sell through rate for that search. 76.4%, which is pretty impressive for suits, especially a common brand like Joseph A. Bank. Um, but really telling numbers here, the mannequin obviously makes a huge difference. Uh, flat lay, flat lay was um, a very poor performer, just about half the total sell-through rate. Hanger, pretty good, right about there, it's about seven points down. But Mannequin exceeded the, the overall sell-through rate by seven points. The stock photos did well. And then this really surprised me. I don't know if it's enough um, of a number to be telling, but the other, the close-ups, did really well. 155% sell-through rate, so double the overall 
raid. Um, but then where it got really interesting, um, so I felt confident, yes, I should keep using my mannequin for suits. But where it got really interesting, I've still got that sold result up. There are a couple outliers at the top. This one is vintage. This one... Super 150s might be very special. I, I think it's very difficult to get that amount of money for a pre-owned Joseph A. Bank. I think that's an outlier. Uh, but I sorted this by highest price to lowest on the solds. And you'll see, you know, mannequin, 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 mannequin. That's ob obviously all the same seller. And they're apparently able to pull really good money for Joseph A. Bank suits. Mannequin, and there's a close-up. We do have a flat lay popping in, but it's a lot of three, so a bit of an outlier. Weird close-ups. Mannequin, 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 mannequin. It's like all mannequins at the top. And this goes on and on and on. We'll have the random close-up again. There's one hanging. And then it's just mannequin, 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 random close-up. Mannequins for days. This one, I think I called other because I believe that's an actual person not a mannequin uh, random hanging one here and there but it's like all mannequins at the top over a hundred dollars and that goes on and on and on until we get down to about I think it was seventy five dollars here's the stock image guy there's a flat lay Right around here, the $80 mark, we start to get more mixed results. We've got hanging, mannequins, close-ups, flat lay, but still mannequins dominating the board there. Now, naturally, more people use mannequins for suits than other categories, so you would expect to see more mannequins. But again, pretty much the, the top, what, I didn't count, 100 listings, everything over $100 it's like 95% mannequins. So if you do want to sell suits, get yourself a mannequin. Do a nice presentation. It makes a difference, uh, particularly on suits. You're asking someone to buy something pre-owned for $60, $70, $80, $150. Um, you want it to look nice, not just have it laying out on the bed or the couch or something like that. Uh, so I've always wondered if mannequins make a difference. I think it's hugely and vastly different in men's clothes and women's but in men's clothes for casual stuff does not seem to matter at all go ahead and flat lay but if you want to get into the formal wear and the suits you need to find yourself a mannequin check facebook marketplace that's where i got mine